Thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita Music. I would like to show you how to learn melody, especially this、uh, F Jazz Blues tune. A lot of、uh, famous melody for F Jazz Blues tune, like Billy's Bounce and this song Straight No Chaser. And first part is I think it's great to learn this song and、um, learn effectively. Effectively I mean in this case, First, you want to learn alternate picking, and then, second part, I will show you how to play in different position, also, how to <clears throat> change key. So, usually, I like three steps, and then、um, a lot of people talk about cage system C A G E D, sort of a you know, chord form. <coughs>、uh, so, and I will give you a little bit my opinion about that. Okay, so you, you see the、um, charts here. You don't have to read, if, I mean, but if you can, even just look at the charts, you can sort of see like wave of notes. Also, you can see what notes is being like sustained <coughs> sustain or you know, downbeat, up, upbeat. You know? So, in this case, I play around here. So, this is sort of C form, almost like you know, open C kind of form right here. And <clears throat> first note is this. It's C, but chord changes really. Let's learn chord changes simply. F7 and B flat7. This is my style, right? Root third seven. If you take my guitar with me, you understand? <clears throat> F7. And C minor, F7. And B flat. And B flat, B diminution. F7 and D7, G minor 7, C7, and 1625. Now, so the first part you want to <clears throat> hear, that's up stroke. So, this melody, <clears throat> particular melody, <clears throat> really di、uh, difficult to do because Seems easy and it's kind of similar melody repeat, but it's a little bit tricky. Therese Monk wrote this song just to make, make it tricky, or in his mind, it was a little tricky. I don't know which way. So, here it's, it's like you know, <clears throat> an old composition purposely, like up, up stroke. Rhythm it. You know? Stop here, then. Stretch、uh, sharp here, like a half. So, everything right now I'm trying to play around the fifth position. So, if I play like almost like a looks like a D, like you know, around the area, like you know, D chord shape, two, three, <coughs> four, one. So, first part of this lesson important alternate picking. Downbeat you play down, upbeat you up. So, you know, you keep in time. That's how I learn、uh, keeping about, you know, rhythm. Now, if you play A form, like the A form, different character will sound.
Now, you can put a G form. That's where you want to kind of change the key. Like if you play, like, you know, that's a little too high. But it's great if you play C or B flat. If you play B flat, this is sort of G form, B flat. So right now, question is, can you play other position and other key? So the first part is, you know, can you play other position? So yes, you can play, you know, lower part, you know, C or <coughs> D form, higher part, and A form, you know, we did that. So basically from, you know, sixth string, third string, fourth string. But same fourth string, but you, if you think about this, So right now, probably I lost a few people just because I changed the key and you know system, cage system. If you don't know that, that's don't worry about that. But the idea is the cage system is really understand the triads. That's what it is. But if you learn the system, if you think this system is easy, then that's not a great way to approach uh, to you know um, improve because you want to improve really proper way it means. You know, you spend your hard work, everything you spend, you know, everything comes back to you in a good way. In other words, you're going to own every aspect of guitar playing, you know, just because you practice. So this case, you have to pay attention, degree, degree, interval. So this case, like, you know, <clears throat> the like that, one, five. So starting five. New key, just B flat. ここまで聞いていただいたら本当に嬉しいです。詳しい内容はですね、ギターウィズダムでやってますから、また見てくださいね。So uh, so just like that, you know, learn alternate picking, learn different position, different set of string, and then learn different key. That's I think this lesson's all about. Alternate picking, play different position, different key. That's I think really really good. So now, let me see. Um, yeah, then after that, you can use a backing track to practice, like, you know.
Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this lesson, I have more, much more detailed lesson, video lessons after Guitar Wisdom. And thank you so much for people joining Guitar Wisdom. I'm really, really enjoying every week to post a new video. And uh, thank you so much for positive comment on the forum. That's really, really, you know, make my day every day. So that's really great. And thank you. And please like this page and share this page with your friends. That way, that way you know, if you support this uh, channel and the Guitar Wisdom, and let me do more uh, help you here, okay? Thank you so much. All right, take care.